afternoon, Infinite Hollywood and Thundercats fans. It's Wesetron back again with another uh, Thundercats review. Today we are looking at Thundercats Deluxe Mumra. It doesn't say the Ever Living. Sad face. Uh, basically, he comes in your uh, kind of more deluxe packaging like you're seeing with a lot of toys now. Um, not a lot of wasted space. They probably could have brought the wings in to make it a little smaller box, but you know, they got to make it work for everything. Really nice picture of Mumra up here in the corner. Got his hand in there. The new Thundercats logo is pretty sweet. Um, I don't know if this means that he's supposed to have wing flapping action or if they're just supposed to curl around him and pop out. I'm not really sure. Um, attractive box, like it. Cross cells on the back. Vehicles, uh, Tower of Omens. I still haven't seen any reviews or anything for this. I'm hoping that this is going to be pretty sweet. I'm really intrigued by that uh, invisible tiger down there. I hope that stays in that set because I haven't heard anything else about it. Uh, it he does actually have a bio back here, uh, instructions on how to use things, but I've already seen there's instructions down in the package too, so yeah, that's pretty much it about the box. I don't have much to say about it. looks good. Four and up, according to the uh, thing up there. And uh, yeah, let's get them open. We're back with Mumra out of packaging. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go on a bit of a nerd rage. Because, what on earth is this? Please tell me we're not going to these now. This was around Mumra's waist in the package. If you can't tell, this is a zip tie. Not good for trying to get your figures out of their packaging. You will have to cut this. Um, kids, if you find this on your figures, go get your mom or dad. Uh, the safest way to do this, I would say, would be nail clippers. But you need to find your mom and dad to help you get this open, okay? Put that to the side. Let's first go over instructions real quick. Uh, it's another huge set of instructions. It's like Tron figures all over again. Pretty much what you're expecting from the uh, Lynx thing. You know, you, you, uh, you fold them up and you put his uh, Hoobajoo on the back and you're all set. Mumra himself is really, really nice looking. Uh, we haven't seen him yet on the show in this form, so it, it's really cool to actually have him in hand. Um, he, uh, he's got these nice, really, like, nicely textured bat-like wings. I really like these. I mean, this is, I'm, I'm not, like, a huge Bandai guy, but I've, I've seen my fair share of Bandai stuff, and this is probably some of the most detailed stuff I've ever seen from them. Um, granted, they usually do Power Rangers, but still, nice work. Um, the head, really nice. He's, uh, he's got his awesome Predator Dreads back here. Um... He's got his snakes on his helmet, you know, uh, like uh, Conan, you know, this the snakes. Have you seen the snakes on the shield? Yeah, that, that thing. Um, overall, just looks really good. The only issue I really saw in uh, presentation form is some unpainted things. You can see here on his uh, wrist, hopefully you can see that there's a, a line here where obviously that's supposed to be some more bandages. Same on this side. And here you'll notice there's uh, some white up here, but it doesn't connect anything. It's because... At least according to the uh, pictures on the box, this also should be white. This whole strip up here and over to here. Uh, here on his uh, chest emblem, it's not really as detailed as I would like, but I mean, this this is a 375 figure. I'm, I'm not really that, you know, bothered by it. But uh, yeah, I, overall I think it looks really nice. Um, he's got some pretty good articulation. Uh, I'm pretty sure his head is only on a swivel. I, I haven't been able to get any tilt moving out of it all, but... He can look slightly left and right. No more, uh, I mean, it, it's not crazy. It won't go all the way around, but, I mean, does your Mumra need to go all the way around? Probably not. Uh, really nice swivel hinge shoulders. They go forward about that far. Up. Uh, his wings are going to hinder some of that movement. By the way, these wings are separate. You will have to connect these when you get them out of the pack. Um, just this part to this part. This whole unit back here is screwed into his body. Um... He's got swivel biceps. Again, uh, just like the Lizard Man, uh, these things are removable. This is weird. Um, but just like the Lizard Man, these look like they were designed to sit like this, like from the side. But then they added a cut in kind of an unusual place, so if you put them forward, you will have some unevenness there. It's not really bad, and it doesn't affect play at all, and uh, uh, the joint works really well. Uh, yeah, and his arm braces are very odd. They're floating. I guess they're going to reuse the parts. Um, Maybe at least on Groon, I have no idea. But they're really, really soft plastic. Expect these to be the first things that you lose on this figure because they are detached. Uh, you're probably going to have to uh, glue them. Um, next, we'll get to the uh, 
elbows. It bend about 90 degrees, not bad, you know. Uh, swivel up here in the uh, forearm on both sides. Looks good. Swivel waist 360, awesome. Uh, his skirts here, you'd think they would hinder articulation more. They are thick, but they're actually fairly pliable. Each one is on its separate peg and also removable. This will be the second thing you lose. Um, if you want to get your uh, pull these parts off, you have party time Mumra here. Uh-oh! Mumra, look at you. Uh, he's got nice swivel hinge, kind of a, another Revoltex style swivel hinge. Huh, that's blocked. That stinks. It only goes out about that far. Not perfect Revoltech joints, I guess. And another swivel here. Um, he's got the double hinge knees, which really only get him slightly more than 90 degrees. Just barely. Um, probably could have gotten away with a single pin here and nobody would have been the wiser. I actually would have sacrificed that for a nice ankle joint. Uh, he does spin at the calves, just like your Motuck figures. Uh, looks pretty good. This uh, rear panel is also um, removable if you want to go, you know... Uh, full uh, birthday suit mumra but ultimately those things are not these peg in very tightly by the way the only reason I found out that they came off is because um, they were a little loose in the package once you actually peg them in and push them all the way in they stay on pretty nicely um, that's as far out as his legs go anyway I'm getting resistance from the joint not these so uh, they really don't affect well they're gonna pop off sometimes but they're not gonna affect your articulation too much and you're gonna have to be careful posing them anyway because uh, his uh, backpack is so large and heavy. So Mumra's looking pretty nice. I really like it. Uh, his uh, claw shield, I, I really expected this to be one of the weaker points of the uh, set. Uh, this is actually really thick, nice plastic. Like, there's not much give to this. It's really nice. Um, I guess it's to help reinforce the magnet so it doesn't get uh, too jacked up or anything, but I really, really like this. Um, I'm guessing this these bits are supposed to be empty on the show. Like I said, we haven't seen this yet, so I don't really know. Um, the magnet is contained up in here in the, I guess, Eye of Plundar. I don't know what this thing's going to be just yet, but really nice piece, really big. Goes up to his uh, neck about. And uh, yeah, I like it. There is no way to store the sword in this, by the way. Talking about the sword... This is the huge letdown of the set. I had no idea how bad this was going to be. This is just awful. I mean, you can see how warped this is out of package. It's because this is the flimsiest, worst plastic I have ever seen for a uh, action toy before. I mean, this is just awful. Look at that. That's the thickest part is, is the handle, and it just goes... I mean, I'm not putting a lot of force on this, so it's just one finger. This is a really bad... I mean, it's it's got great, great detail. I mean, you can see the eye of whatever it's supposed to be. Um, all these great little details. I mean, it's got great shape. The scimitar shape is really cool. I like it a lot. But it's just flimsy. It's really flimsy. I mean, it's aided some by the heat of the lights. I'll give you that. But not as much as you would think. Um, also, the way this is packaged, uh, it's it's kind of tightly into a hole in the bubble. You are going to have to cut your bubble if you want to get this out without cutting it or tearing it. Um, I, I did get a couple nicks on mine trying to get it out. Yeah, it's just not a great weapon. Um, the worst part of it uh, is uh, actually that he can't hold it very well. It's not designed. His hand isn't closed well enough for him to hold this. I don't know what he's supposed to do with it. Um, maybe you can twist it a little, kind of work it in there and... Get it stuck between some... Not really, no. I don't know, maybe I'm doing this wrong. If someone else has one, you know, toss me a bone and let me know because the shield has a peg system that goes onto his forearm and there's only a hole on this arm. So you can see there's nothing there. So I know that the shield goes over on this side. And this pegs in very, very sturdily. Looks really nice. Um, it's, it's got some weight to it, like I said, but it's going to help counterbalance those wings so it's not going to knock them over too easily. I like that. Um, his uh, his joints seem like they're going to support it pretty well. Uh, I'm I'm pretty into the claw shield. I like it a lot. I think it's a, a great counter to a Lionel. Oh, let me get that turned for you so you can see it a little better. Um, it's a great counter to Lionel. Looks great and uh, works well with the figure. No, I can't get him to stand. <laughs> yeah, his backpack will throw off his uh, center balance a little bit. You'll have to work with it a little bit, but it's really not that bad. Get this claw shield off. 
So, Link's gimmick. Let's get his arms down to the side here. You, uh... Oh my god, I'm dropping everything. Uh, <laughs> basically, you just close his uh, uh, wings right over his body, just like that. Uh, I've only had issue with this wing being a little loose. If you kind of shake him around a little bit, sometimes it pops open. Of course, now it's not going to do it. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's not awful, but, you know, how often are you going to do this anyway? But, basically, he's got his uh, little Lynx button here in the back. And the magnet is in here. I wish they would have painted that just, you know, to remind you and to give it a little more detail. But, you know, what are you going to do? Basically, hold this over the point in the back. And just like that. Nice. So you can have him doing this whole thing. Uh, and uh, what is it? What does he always say? Uh, Ancient spirits of evil. Transform this decayed form into Mumra, the ever-living! Yeah, I really hope my neighbors are listening to this right now. <laughs> um, yeah, this figure's really nice. I like it. Uh, I paid too much for him. I'm going to be honest. I got him from Toys R Us, $14.99. $14.99 is the same price I paid for that lizard cannon, which was a vehicle and a toy in the scale. Which, speaking of which, let me go ahead and grab uh, Mr. Lizard Guy here. So let's get in our little lizard man here, and as I said before, they scale pretty well. Um, I, I really still can't comment on how he's going to scale with the Thundercats, but uh, with his little uh, lizard guys, you know, he's, he seems like a big guy. He, he's got these huge arms, uh, almost gorilla-like. I think it works pretty well. Yeah, I, I dig Mumra. Fifteen bucks, too much for him. Wait till you can find him for a better price. Don't go nuts like I did. I unfortunately... Uh, Spent all day trying to find these guys, so when I finally did, I just got really excited and paid the $15, even though I know this was, you know, a $12 toy, tops. And, uh, yeah, nice figure. Really like it. Uh, he's got more articulation than I thought he would have. Uh, he looks great. I think he's going to work great uh, with your 4-inch toys, because I don't have anything to compare with, but I like him. Uh, I think he's nice. He's got great paint. Uh, nothing really feels sloppy or anything. They did great uh, trying to figure out how to make these skirts work with the articulation. Overall, I like them a whole lot. That's pretty much all I have to say about them. I wish his sword was better. Claw shield is awesome. Love the claw shield. Sword, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Don't like it. Um, figure itself, great. All kinds of articulation. Knees, probably not as useful as they could be, but uh, I'll deal with it. You know, it's got 90 degrees. That's really all you need on a figure this scale anyway. Unless you have some kind of uh, uh, flying stand, which... How come nobody's made flying stands yet for four-inch figures? Thanks for the pegs, though. Peg holes in his feet. Nice. Uh, yeah. Good figure. Solid all around. I would give it for uh, the price for $15. I'll give it a 7. For uh, $12, 13 max, it would go up to about an 8. Good figure. Got a couple issues. Nothing too major, though. Um, do watch out for the uh, armbands and these uh, uh, skirts. That's about the only thing I could say to watch out for. Uh, paint looks good, articulation good, gimmick works. Like it. Uh, check out Infinite Hollywood for all your pop culture needs. This is Wesatron uh, saying thanks. You guys have a great day. Conan, you know, Vista Snakes. Have you seen the snakes?